Hey everyone, Dr. Fed here. Today we're gonna be talking about a very interesting compound coming from Taiwan this time. And what's good about this product is that you can try it right now if it works. So this development, while still in early stages, highlights the exciting potential of stem cell activation and fat cell signaling in combating hair loss. And this product that I'm gonna be talking about uses the same mechanism as a compound that we talked about extensively on this channel, vertoporfin, and the core theory behind it is that we can regenerate any skin tissue, even the bald skin tissue in our scalp, into a normal skin tissue with hair follicles just like we were born before they were miniaturized with DHT. In theory, this is possible and there's even a case report of a man who had burns to his scalp that has regenerated into a normal skin tissue with normal hair follicles while he was bald before. And so this product revisits that same mechanism of action. So this new serum draws from the concept of trauma-induced hypertrichosis, which means abundance of hair where skin irritation or injury can trigger excessive hair growth, a remnant of our evolutionary biology. By mimicking this without causing actual irritation, this serum offers or at least has the idea to offer a gentler path forward for the same concept. So it's been developed by Professor Sung John Lin and his team at National Taiwan University. This serum uses monounsaturated fatty acids, the same fatty acids as you find in olive oil. These natural compounds found in plant oils and our body's adipose tissue target hair follicle stem cells. Here's the science. Skin irritation prompts immune cells like macrophages to infiltrate fat layers beneath the skin, triggering lipolysis, which basically means breakdown of fat. The fat is gonna break down into fatty acids these fatty acids will fuel mitochondrial activity in the hair follicle stem cells, triggering their activation and prompts regeneration of that particular area into normal skin with normal hair follicles. This is the whole idea behind it. And you know what? In mouse models, applying the serum directly bypassed the need for irritation leading to visible regrowth, which means these researchers took four groups of, of mice and for some groups they caused irritation to the skin and they observed that skin and they observed actual regeneration of hair confirming the theory that if you cause certain damage to the skin without reaching the point where you trigger a scar tissue formation you can actually regenerate the hair in that skin even if that particular area was bald before but researchers wanted to go even beyond this and wanted to test whether this theory can be applied without making or causing irritation to the skin because that would be that would not be plausible right and plus they won't have any product to sell and so here where monounsaturated fatty acids came into play and they actually made the serum that contains these fatty acids and alcohol and other solvents and they applied that particular uh, serum into the skin and they observed the same effect. And you know, reading this research paper over here, I, I spent last night <laughs> reading about it. It's very, very plausible, the biology they're talking about and the theory behind the mechanism that they think is triggering this hypertrichosis due to this serum being applied to the scalp. It's very, it's very plausible, but again, this is in mice. You know, even Professor Lin tested an early version of the serum on his own thighs, noting promoted hair regrowth after three weeks, though this remains the only human anecdote that we have uh, regarding this serum. All the other research that we have, all the other data, is purely for animal uh, mice studies. So a couple of things to say here. From what I understand, Dr. Lin has already created a product and started uh, selling it for androgenetic alopecia and hair loss patients. And so he's financially incentivized to hype this product and he's already making money out of it. So I don't really see the incentive for him to create a large scale data with vehicle groups to objectively assess the efficacy of this serum in triggering hypertrichosis. So I, I, to be honest with you guys, I don't think, I was gonna say that I hope that we get large scale human trials for this compound, but I don't think that we're going to because he's, he doesn't have any incentive to do it. I mentioned in the beginning of the video that these fatty acids that exist in the serum also exist in oils like olive oil. So this can be tested very 
uh, simply. And you know what? Applying olive oil into bald scalp is a ritual that's been used many, many years now. And I've, I've read a lot of personal anecdotes saying that they noticed a lot of hair regrowth because of applying olive oil, though these, are, these remain just anecdotes. So we don't really know whether are we gonna get any objective data assessing the efficacy and controlling it to a vehicle group? I don't think so. You know what, when friends and family come to me and they say, Fedi, you have a YouTube channel about hair loss, so can you give me some tips and tricks, what can I do? I read on the internet that they can apply these all the, these natural oils and stuff. I used to laugh at them and, well, not laugh at them, but try to present the real data and saying that you're better off using these pharmaceutical treatments because there is no uh, biological plausibility to the theory that uh, applying these natural remedies and oils into your scalp is going to promote any noticeable hair regrowth. But now we do. And so <laughs> I, don't, I don't even know what to believe anymore. But again, the biology that they go through the, throughout this research paper is very very plausible they go through very plausible mechanisms so it can as well be be right and the other point that i wanted to talk about whether regarding this particular product from taiwan or the product that i talked about in the previous video pp405 or other hair loss products like vertiporfin these things that are aimed to activate or accelerate regeneration through uh, hair follicle stem cell activation these type of products or treatments, you don't have to wait three months to see results like 5 alpha reductase inhibitors. We speak extensively on this channel about how important it is to set your real expectations when you start a treatment like finasteride, for example, or minoxidil, because you have to wait for that hair cycle to go through the three month uh, uh, average and only then you can expect to see some noticeable results. Before that three month mark, you're sort of stuck in this area where you're applying the product or taking the pill and not seeing any results. But with these particular products, you, you're activating the stem cells directly. So you're going straight into the antigen phase. So you don't really have to wait the three month period. Like for example, in this particular product, the researchers say that they noticed hypertrichosis after only 20 days of applying the treatment. The same with the vertoporfin and the same with PP405. If you remember, the study of PP405 was only done for four weeks. The same with, uh, again, vertoporfin. After applying it during the hair transplant procedure, you, you're going to see uh, immediate or at least uh, sub-immediate hair regrowth into that area that you harvested hair from, supposedly. So I'm just saying that in addition to the innovative technology that these kind of products uh, offer, you also have the other advantage of not having to wait that three month mark, uh, which I think is something very, very impressive. So what are my final points about this? What do I think, what do I make of this? First of all, this research paper remains just a infraclinical research paper. It's done on mice and like many, many products and compounds that has proven their efficacy on animal studies, um, they don't really have any place uh, in human use. So I'm going to wait until we get some human data uh, and then I'll make another video. But to be honest, I don't think we're ever going to get it because there is there is no in, uh, financial incentive for any company to make or to spend that kind of money on, on such on such a study. Uh, Dr. Uh, Lee is already uh, marked in the product from what I read. So I don't think there's any incentive to be honest. But there's one thing that I learned throughout this particular uh, adventure. There's a lot of things that we don't know. And you know, every day comes by, every research paper that I read, every new innovative technology that comes out, I realize how much I don't know. <laughs> that's, a, that's a very scary feeling, but that's the truth. Um, I, I, I told you before that when friends and family approach me and tell me about using these natural remedies on their hair, I used to at least internally laugh about the whole thing because I was convinced they did not work. But now, you know, I, I don't know anymore. <laughs> so, um, you know, one, one other lesson that I personally took from this whole thing, uh, this hype about this product, is to be more open-minded. And with that, I'm going to end the video. 
One quick reminder, I resumed my meeting service. You can go in the link in the description and book a meeting with me and we're gonna craft a hair loss strategy for you for your individual case of hair loss. So go to the link in the description and book a meeting with me right now. I hope you guys are safe and we'll meet in the next video. Bye-bye.